Welcome to the Old Time Radio Superman Show from Boise, Idaho. This is your host, Adam Graham, calling to you from Boise, Idaho. Where And last time, Pug Flanagan uh, got them on a boat sailing away. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be any trouble at all. When will Jimmy learn? That's the question we'll find out today. Before we get into that, I want to encourage you to check out uh, Laser and Sword Magazine for the best in modern uh, serial fiction. We have, we've got exciting serial going on. The Unknown Mission serial reaching its climax. Uh, folks, you, you don't want to miss it. Go to lasersword.adamsweb.us. There'll be a new chapter up on Thursday. I encourage you, please cast your vote for the show at podcastalley.com. Got any comments, feel free to email me, adam at adamsweb.us. Uh, but without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the Night Rate Shipment, Part 3. Presenting the transcription feature, Superman! Look at the sky! Look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! And now, Superman, strange visitor from the planet Krypton, who came to Earth with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men and who, disguised as Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper, wages a never-ending battle for truth and justice. When we last saw Kent, he had assumed his role as Superman and gone in search of young Pug Flanagan, suspected of having stolen the treasure map found aboard the ill-fated clipper ship, the Clara M. But in reality, Pug himself had been locked in a storage bin by the man who did steal the map, a half-breed Spaniard named Carlos. Fortunately, Jimmy Olsen overheard a conversation between Carlos and his partner Manuel, clerk at the Panama Hotel, where Kent, Jimmy, and Pug were spending the night. From the conversation, Jimmy learned where Pug was being held prisoner, and also that Carlos planned to sail for the island where the treasure was buried that very night on a fishing boat owned by a man named Sanchez. With Pug released, both boys hurried to the waterfront, determined that the fishing boat, the La Paloma, would not leave port. As our story continues today, they have sneaked into the hold of the boat and are attempting to open a sea cock to sink it. Listen. Yeah, this thing is jammed tight. Can't budge it. Let me try it, Pug. Okay. It is tight. Yeah, and how? Hey, wait a minute. What's that noise? Sounds like a boat engine. It's this boat. We're shoving off. Pug, what do we do? We've got to scram fast. Come on. No. I stand at the top of the companionway step. But, Pug, well, we got to get off. We just got to. Yeah, I know. It's too bad we can't get that sea cock open. The old tub wouldn't go far. Well, we can't open it, so why talk about it? Pug. Yeah? I'm going to walk right up those companionway steps and ask them to let us off. They can have the treasure, man. Take it easy, pal. I got another idea. Follow me. Where are you going? Never mind. Keep close. Yeah. See what's up ahead? Right. Now watch what I do. No, nah, you better stay here and lay chicken. I'll be right back, Jim. Oh, golly. Sure hope we get out of this mess. We don't, Mr. Kent's going to be worried stiff. Hug, I'll be right with you. Hug, what happened? Just get tight and listen. What for? Listen to what? Just listen. No, oh, I stopped it. But how? Turn off the gas and rip that line out. It'll take them plenty of time to fix it, too. We're coming down to find out what's wrong. We've got to make a break for it, Jim. Wait till I get away from the steps. All right. Now! Quick, Pug. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up the Come steps. Come on. Come on. Come on. we got to get by him. Come on. Come on. Come on. We'll get Mr. Candace. Oh, oh. What's the matter, Pop? I twisted my ankle. I can't run. Here. I'll help you. Oh, you'll be the back to the hotel. Go ahead. Come on, your life. Come on. 
Put your arm around my shoulders. Beat it, I said. They'll catch you, too. Oh, they won't. You can hobble. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, you ain't got a chance unless you drop me and run, Jim. Don't don't be a dope. I'm not leaving you in that spine. Oh, oh. see? We're off the dock already. We're losing in the dock. Yeah. Come on. Besides, sweet. Okay. Here. Ain't gonna hurt much. Yeah. Oh, why don't you drop me? Shut up. They'll never find us down this dark alley. Oh, why do they have to go and pull a stunt like this anyhow? Don't worry about it. Hey, huh? Wait. This is a blind alley. It doesn't go anyplace. Just a blank wall. That means we're stuck. I'll be the gym before they come, no, will you? No, keep quiet. Don't move. Maybe they won't come in the alley. Here, I can't. Don't breathe, Bob. Come on, Sanchez. Now we have to. Oh, this is all my fault, Jim. Got you into this. I'm just no good. Shut up. Maybe they won't find us. I'll get them going, Sanchez. Like relax. There they are. Hey, let go, will you? Now we beat you good. Hey, hey, let go of me. Let go easy on him. He's got a bad ankle. Maybe it's broken. Hey, you have plenty more broken before I am through with him. I wouldn't be too sure of that, my friend. Who is that? Pug, it's Superman. Take your hands off those boys. Where are you? Never mind who I am. Take your hands off those boys before you run into trouble. And he means (laughs) trouble, mister. Put the light on him, thank you. That won't do you any good. Oh, he wears a fancy dress cast. Go back to your masquerade party, Americano. This is none of your business. I'm making it my business. Who are these men, Jimmy? Well, uh, that fellow Carlos has the treasure map we found on the Clara M. The other one, Sanchez, owns the fishing boat they were sailing on to find the treasure. For the earth, I will kill you. No! Oh, you're breaking my arm. I told you to keep your hands off those boys. I warn you, I have denied. You could have a machine gun for all I care. Sanchez, give it to me. Come on, Sanchez, give it to me. Not bad. Now I'll give it back. Boy, look at him. Slap that guy around. Oh! That finishes Sanchez. Now, Carlos, it's your turn. I will stab you. Go ahead. Try it. Uh, what? He fought Look, Pug. The knife was broken on Superman's chin. You had your chance, Carlos. Now I'll take mine. Oh, he's out like a light. I bet he's got the treasure map in his pocket. I'll look. Yeah. Yeah. See, I was right. Here it is. All right. Now, you and Pug get back to the hotel with the map as fast as you can. Mr. Kent's waiting there. Oh, but Superman, Pug's got a sprained ankle. Yeah. Couldn't you fly us to the hotel? Well, I <laughs> suppose I could. No, on second thought, I can't. I have something I must do. You can manage, but go straight to the hotel. I don't stop on the way. Oh, we won't. Thanks a lot for helping us out. We were in hot water until you came along. You sure are handy to have around, Superman. <laughs> You wouldn't need me if you both didn't manage to get into so much trouble. Well, so long. So long, Superman. So long. Gee, he's a swell guy. Yeah. Hey, we better get moving before these two bandits come, too. Give me a hand, Jimmy, huh? Okay. Now, just take it easy. All right. Here you are. There. You know, Jim... There's one thing I, I can't get through my beam. How come the Superman is always there when we need him, huh? I don't know, Pug. Unless he just knows when trouble's happening. You see, he's got power. Here. Careful there, Jimmy. Huh? Don't lean too far over that rail. You may fall in. Oh, I could stand a swim. <laughs> oh, I'm getting hot waiting for the ship to sail. Are you hot too, Pug? Yeah. <laughs> I'm burning up, Jim. Hey, when's she going to pull out? Oh, in a few minutes. Anyway, hot as you are, you wouldn't want to swim in these waters. Oh, why not? It looks swell. Clear and blue. Yeah, I know it does. It's full of sharks and barracuda. Hmm? Big enough to take your leg off. Boy. No kidding. That's right. Tropical waters are very dangerous, so just you behave yourselves or over you'll go. That applies to you particularly, Pug. I don't want another episode like the last. I said I was sorry, didn't I? And anyway, if I hadn't gone into the room to get that map, that guy Carlos would have skipped with it, and we never would have caught him. Pug's right, Mr. King. Yeah. I know, I know. That still doesn't excuse him for trying to take the map. 
Well, that's all gone and forgotten. Oh, look, boys. They're casting off. Here we go. Oh, they're waiting for someone to come up the gangplank. Huh? See him? It looks like a messenger. Are you a kid? Are you a kid? He's calling you, Mr. Kent. Yes. Here, boy. Are you a kid? Yes, that's right. I have a message for you. Oh, thank you. Here. Take this. Well, what is it, McGrath? Who'd be sending you a message, Mr. Kent? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Oh, what's it say? I, uh, nothing very much. Ah, uh, he's covering up. Is it important, Mr. Kent? No, no, it's just silly. What does it say? I'll read it to you. If you value your life, don't sail on this ship. Wow. No kidding, Mr. Kent. Did it say that? Yes, but... Oh, it's just someone's idea of a joke. Probably our friend Carlos. And anyway, it's too late to get off. We're pulling out. Oh, I'm hungry. Let's get down and have breakfast. Come on, Jim. Come on, boy. Well, Pug, what'll it be? Bacon and egg? Yeah, it suits me fine. How about you, Jimmy? Well, I'm not very hungry. Oh, Jimmy, stop worrying about that message. I'm sure it was just a feeble attempt on the part of Carlos to get us back on shore. Oh, I know, but ever since we've had that treasure map, we've run into trouble. I think there's a curse on us. There'll be nothing but skin and bones on you if you don't eat something. Come on, now, bacon and eggs? Oh, all right. Hey, Mr. Kent, what's that under your plate? Huh? Where? Where? Oh, it's an envelope. Hmm, that's funny. Open it up. Well, I'll be... Now what, Mr. Kent? Just one word, printed in big letters. What's the word? Beware. Beware of what? Who can be sending Clark Kent these strange cryptic messages? And why? Can the treasure map, as Jimmy suggested, have a curse on it? Don't forget to tune in next time for another thrilling episode of Superman. Tune in the next thrilling installment of the transcription feature, Superman. Superman! Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics Magazine. Welcome back. Well, I gotta give Pug credit. He knew how to disable the ship with some creative vandalism. That that doesn't surprise me that, that, that that's a skill he possesses. Um... <laughs> Uh, th- these notes are kind of interesting, getting a little bit of a mystery feel. Uh, and I've been working on a new new show that's going to be a daily show um, with uh, mystery detective stories. And really, this time, 1940s, is the time when every show, every show, uh, in some way or another, unless it was like a comedy or some you know soap opera. Uh, really was a mystery. Even most of the shows, some people look back and see, a, you know, um, dangerous assignment. Uh, so many of these radio shows, mystery just um, was at the center of them. And Superman is no different here. By the way, um, the series is called The Nitrate Shipment. When are we going to find out about any nitrate being shipped? Because I'll be somewhat left out of the loop here if, if, if somehow I miss that. All right. Well, that's it for t- uh, this evening's show. I thank everybody so much for listening. If you got any comments, feel free to email me, adam at adamsweb.us. Uh, from Boise, Idaho, this is your host, Adam Graham, signing off.